Well, hello friends of the internet. It's me. I did not vlog yesterday. I was like on the verge yesterday. I was not feeling it. I was having a very busy day at work. It's very busy today as well, but I'm, I'm taking a few minutes to myself because I just, I need it. Yesterday was, I was just panicked. I don't know why. I mean, I think I know why, but like I was just in a very panicky mood at 2 p.m. Central, Central time, which is what Minnesota is in. And I'm in Minnesota, not in Canada. I'm in Minnesota. Um, there was a like Minnesota press conference with Tim Waltz, who is our governor, I believe. Um, so he put into effect uh, like the stay at home ban or whatever, or not banning you staying at home, banning you basically going anywhere that isn't essential. And I'm already doing that anyway, so it really isn't affecting me in any way, shape or form. Thankfully, I can still work from home, so that doesn't affect uh, my financial standing or work or anything like that. It's just, I don't know, I feel like I'm just being like way empathetic towards like everybody else that I don't know. I mean, and even people I do know and it's just getting to me of like, you know, people's financial situations and um, you know, not being able to go to work and get paid and have daycare and like, I don't, I'm just taking it on and I shouldn't be taking it on, but I was actually watching, um, Jen Ross this morning. I'm like, I was catching up on some YouTube videos before I started work and I was watching one of her videos and she was talking about, she had struggled in the past with like feeling all her feelings. Um, and that like every feeling is valid and I'm like, maybe that's what I'm struggling with because I'm just like pushing it down. Yeah, so that that's why I didn't vlog yesterday. <laughs> I was just, I was feeling all the feelings, you guys. It was just, whoo. <laughs> also, I stopped work at like 4.30, something like that. And I laid down for just like a couple of hours, woke back up, had my night, and then I could not get back to sleep. So... I decided to take a little night drive. I didn't go anywhere in particular. I just drove around for like 30 minutes. Um, I think I just needed to get out of the house. Even though I wasn't going anywhere, I just needed to get out. I stopped at my parents' house and they're not there, by the way. Like, they live in the same area as me. Um, but they're not there. But um, I stopped there, just checked on everything. Um, at like four in the morning, but whatever. Anyways, so yeah, and then I just, I haven't slept. Like I, I got to finally lay down at like 5.30, and then I like laid down for about an hour, but it wasn't like real sleep. I mean, I have trouble sleeping anyway, just because of my like um reflux and stomach problems, but um, I think I was just like, I was definitely on the verge, like for sure, cause it's just too much going on in this old noggin here. Um, and it's all stuff I can't control, which I think is making it even worse. Like I feel like I should be doing something, but I can't do anything. And um, I know you guys out there feel me on that. And yes, I'm probably overreacting to whoever's trying, you know, whoever's typing on their keyboard that I'm overreacting. I totally understand, but this is just like, this is legit, this is how I'm feeling. And um, that's what these vlogs are all about. You know, I pretty much always have a very like positive and happy demeanor, but you know, sometimes it's just, it's just real life. So yeah, um, but in more fun news, um, I actually got my Simply Gilded subscription box today. I haven't been posting those videos. Those videos just like don't do very well for some reason on my channel, which is totally fine. Um, I mean, I was just posting them because I know some of you out there enjoy them. You know, there's already videos out there anyways, so it's like, you know, not a big deal. I already went through it, and what I like to do is when I receive it, I, I'm like, clearly I like open up downstairs, and then I kind of separate the things that I know I'm not going to use versus the things I will use, because I don't want to bring anything up into my office that I know I'm not going to use, so, um... So yeah, but then I also have these uh, sticker books that I got. They're just like plain pages. I'll show you what I did today. <clears throat> this isn't all of them, but this is some of the stickers um, from the collection that just came out. So I will pull off on the sticker sheets the ones that I will potentially use. And like, I don't know, I have like 
This is very, very full at the moment. But these are like stickers that I don't normally use, things that are half used, samplers, things like that. Um, I'll link this below. It is kind of expensive, unfortunately, but I got them on Amazon. Um, I have this one, which is like a whole bunch of pages. And then this one um, I have as well, but it was only like a few pages. But um, I don't know, they're kind of spendy. I will be honest. They are kind of spendy for what they are, but they work really well. And it's the fun thing about these is they've like actually forced me to use some of my less used stickers because they're just right here and I don't have to go searching for them. And so now this used to be like full, like jam packed full of stickers, like all of these in my little categories. And now it's just like, if I truly love the entire sticker sheet, it stays here. So I like that a lot. Here are kind of like the remnants of the sticker sheets of the things I know I won't use. So I'm going to end up passing that along to someone else. And then also they had these. Um, this came in my order. It's one of those like, I don't know, things, folio things. I don't know. But there is, um, and she said this before, that there was going to be some shadowing on this. And there is quite a bit of shadowing. And I didn't know if I was like in love with the color of this in the first place. And I brought it up here and I decided, you know what? This is going to be better to another home. So I am going to go like this. Throw these in the middle for the moment. I'm going to go downstairs. You guys can come with. You can come with me. I'm gonna grab some lunch because it's like lunchtime. It's like 11 something. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. I'm just in a, in a funk. Are you guys fun getting funky already? This is my week four of being quarantined or, you know, self quarantine, whatever. And uh, I'm losing it, <laughs> clearly. Um, yeah, and then also, in here is, this is my little bucket of things and oh this was in there as well so like this little pouch was in the seasonal surprise box um i just won't use it i know i won't so i know people ask all the time they're like well you know if you're not going to use the things like why do you why do you get those little monthly subscription surprise box whatever the hell they're called um i like them that's why and this whole hold on let me go back in here um, I know it's hard to see, but this whole thing is for like a future planner meetup. I just haven't been to one in a really long time, so I uh, just keep all my stuff in there, like put to the side so I don't have to, you know, deal with it. So anyway, oh, but like I was saying, so this is week four for me. So today's Thursday. I'm almost to four full weeks. <laughs> Um, and then now the Minnesota order is two more weeks. So I think it goes to the 10th. Um, we could be like mandated to stay at home longer than that. Um, or my office could also mandate that we stay home longer than that as well afterwards. So a whole lot of unknowns. I'm just, like I said, I'm feeling the feelings you guys and I'm gonna eat my feelings now, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna have some of uh, this macaroni and cheese because I don't know what to eat and um, I'm actually gonna make some dinner tonight so hopefully I will remember to vlog it a little bit. Um, I have a bunch of like fresh vegetables and I need to do a little like stir fry situation. Might as well uh, get the water going while I unload the dishwasher because, you know, dishwasher. Ugh. So, it is unloaded. Um, I am going to have some orange juice because that, you know, makes me feel better, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. So I have my OJ. I normally don't drink orange juice unless I'm sick. Um, I'm not sick. I'm fine now. But, um, I don't know, kind of helped me get over the hump before with, um, you know, when I had the flu. So I'm like, you know what? I need some orange juice. Makes, I don't know, you feel better a little bit. OJ to the rescue. I am gonna go. Um, you guys already know what I'm gonna have for lunch. I'm gonna drink 
my OJ quick here and um, then I'm gonna work while I eat my lunch. So yeah, I just wanted to give you an update. I just, I just have all the feelings today. And yesterday was, yesterday was bad. I think we're all going through a range of emotions regardless if we decide to acknowledge it or not. So anyways, um, I will see you guys in a little bit, bye. All right, it is five o'clock. I'm leaving my office because I just don't wanna do this anymore. Oh, some days, y'all, some days. Um, yeah, it's just been like super, super busy. Like my department's been crazy busy and it just doesn't stop. Like the emails don't stop, which is a great thing. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow I have two happy hours to attend. Uh, virtual happy hours, by the way. <laughs> so it's like, wow, my social calendar has never looked so exciting. But like I said before, I am going to do some cooking. I'm gonna bring you guys along. We're gonna cook together. It's gonna be great. Um, let me get the pan. Hold on, let's, la 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 la. Cool. All right, so I, I think, have a video about this on my channel. If I can find it, I'll put it up above. Um, let me get all of my supplies and then we'll start talking about it. All right, I'm going to put a pot full of water over here. I'm not starting it yet, but I'm gonna put it over here. And now I have this little bad boy. It's like one of those deeper skillet looking things. And I am going to turn that on and let me grab all my veggies. So the only veggies I really need or that I'm gonna be using today are things that I really, clearly I like them. Um, I've got my zucchini, I've got some sliced mushrooms, and I've got some tomatoes. So that's all we need. Uh, the sliced mushrooms, I always just like check to see if the mushrooms are more or less expensive depending on if I get whole mushrooms or sliced mushrooms. This time they were the same, so I just got the same for like the same weight. So I would just much rather deal with these. So throw them in. It's really like rocket science over here. You just throw them in, that's it. All right, so I'm gonna open up these clean these, clean these, and just slice them, put them in. That's it. What I like about this is um, I end up having a ton of veggies for several days, which is pretty great. And then I either put it over like a bed of pasta or a, some, a bed of rice or quinoa or something like that. I have a bunch of whole wheat pasta that I wanna go through. So that's what the pot of like the big pot of water is for. But I will put that on a little bit later. So yeah. Blah! One of my zucchini almost ran away. I don't have a ton of room in this little space here, but we're gonna, we're gonna make this work. All the vegetables are rinsed off. With the vegetables, you could like roast them too. Like you could just put them in the oven. I just don't. I just throw them in this pan and it's fine with me. So I don't know, everyone's different. So yeah, I'm just cutting, cutting my veggies now. But um, yeah, how are you guys doing? Tell me in the comments how things are going. I feel like after lunch, I had a better attitude. <laughs> you know, about life in general and all that good stuff. Yeah, I don't know, I just losing it a little bit, but I feel like we're all kinda on that struggle bus, you know? So I think it's, I think it's okay to lose it a little bit right now. I got a message from my dad this afternoon and he's like, yeah, I went and got a haircut. I'm like, what? Uh, my parents are in Florida, by the way. Um, so I'm like, what the heck? Like all the barbers and hairstylists and nail salons and tattoo places, like any like massage, all that kind of stuff. Like everyone is closed down right now. Um, like gyms, all of that. So I don't know. It's like, dad, just, just stop with the haircuts. He's like, oh, I wanna look pretty. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know, but definitely they're in a totally different state and um, if I've understood correctly, the virus likes colder climates, like it sticks around a lot more. So that could totally be the case and that would be, make sense that Florida doesn't have one of those like stay at home order kind of things. So anyway, um, yeah, 
So, just getting this all chopped up. This usually takes like, um, to get it all kind of like wilt, kind of wilted down the way that I like it. Um, once it starts to heat up, I do put the um, top over it. Like, what's it called? The cover. The cover. I put the cover over it. Um, and then usually, I don't know, once I get everything in there, usually it takes like another 15 minutes or so. As it sits, like when you put it in like your glass container or whatever for leftovers later. So, cause I'll just eat this tomorrow too and probably the next day. Um, it tends to get like more juicy, if you will. But I like to do the harder things first. So this and then the mushrooms because those need to like take more time. And then with these, I'm just gonna cut them in half. And then um, what I do with those is just toss them in there. And I don't care if those wilt down or not, at least the first time around, because it doesn't make a whole hill of a beans of a difference to me. But um, yeah, I don't know. I just like it. It's easy. And you could do it with like any vegetables that you like. Um, I just like these and they're easy, pretty, pretty easy to find. Um, I found it during this whole fun coronavirus situation, so that's good. Um, didn't have to fight anybody for any of these vegetables, which was nice. Yeah, and they're usually pretty hearty vegetables too, so they do last quite a, quite a while, like in your fridge or on your counter or whatever, um, especially if you don't get to it right away, like I didn't. Um, so yeah, so all of the, um, Zucchini is chopped up, ready to go. I'm gonna give that a little bit and let it simmer down now. So I have this whole wheat pasta. Um, I just decant everything into these jars I got from Ikea a long time ago. Um, I have quite a bit of this as well. So I'm just gonna put all of this, like this is way too much for one serving, but I'm just gonna put all of this into the water once it starts boiling. And then whatever I don't eat, I'll toss up a little bit of like extra virgin olive oil just so it doesn't get too sticky. Normally wheat pasta for me doesn't get too sticky, at least this brand. I'll save it for like lunch for tomorrow or whenever because I don't know, I feel like it keeps pretty long. So I'm gonna go do that. But you could use any pasta that you want. You don't have to use, you know, like a penne or whatever. I don't know. Well, here, I'll show you the situation now. So this is, you know, getting warm-ish. That's what it looks like. I haven't tossed it or anything. It can just sit in there. And then I've got my water going. And then this. Whoop, wow, can't see. Right in there. Um, and then I am going to just chop these up real quick with you guys. And then um, when I'm done, then I'll just throw it right into the mixture there. Like I said, I'm feeling better. This is gonna be like a rambly vlog. Um, I'm feeling better. I just, ugh. Yesterday was bad, y'all. Like, I was just, I was on the verge for sure, and it was not good. It was no buenos. Um, and I am not one, I don't know if I've said this before. Well, I'm sure I've said it before, but I don't know if I said it today. But um, I am one that does not watch the news, so having to know what's going on is something I don't want to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, Watching the news like on a normal basis when this is like not going on isn't good for my mental health. I'm just gonna put it that way. I feel like I'm on a need to know basis. <laughs> and like right now, we all need to know. Me watching the news is just not, not a good thing for the mental health situation. But getting through it, dealing, and um, yeah, it's just, it's just hard right now. But, um, I did actually really enjoy earlier today. I took a little walk with the dog. So that was really nice. I saw a lot of people out. I didn't say hello or converse with anybody. Um, clearly everyone's keeping their distance, but um, you know, saw a few families out like riding bikes and with like little kids in strollers, which was nice. Just nice to like see people uh, because I haven't like physically seen anyone in a long time. I mean, I see my neighbors every once in a great while and we just say hello and then go back inside. But you know, it's just 
one of those things. Good to see people are like kind of getting out and about too and you know, we're all kind of going a little stir crazy. So yeah. All right, so all of my things are chopped. Horrible way of like explaining things. Just all my things are chopped. Like, okay. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm gonna just toss everything that's in this big pan real quick. Just get it moving around a little bit. And actually everything's still a little dense. So I'm just gonna leave my tomatoes out for just a little bit until it kind of wilts down slightly and then I'll put those in and then we'll be good to go. And then by that time, it'll be time for dinner. So anyway, um, I'm gonna jet because Doyle is over by the front door. So he needs to go out and go to little peepees. And um, I will check in with you. I will show you my dinner before I eat it. So I'll be back in a little bit. Bye. Okay, so here is the finished dinner. Um, I just have a little bit of pasta around the sides and I just like basically all vegetables. Like it's like a moat of vegetables. Another thing that I do sometimes, I'm gonna do it today because I have it, is I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of cheese on there. Um, I like this Italian style cheese and I got it from Aldi. And then um, a little bit of cracked pepper. And there's my dinner, and I got all my water right there. Dinner time. All right, so it's about an hour later, and I am done with dinner, and I'm just hanging out now. Got my toilet paper. Um, gotta bring some upstairs. Uh, anyway, so it's like my home value just skyrocketed with this toilet paper, I swear. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, since I missed the vliggity vlog yesterday, I am going to just gonna throw that on the top there. Um, I'm gonna edit this video today, and um, hopefully the internet gods will be nice to us, like they were the last couple of days, and I can get this uploaded for you guys. So I'm gonna upload my footage and uh, get this done for you. Hey Doyle, Doyle, what are you doing? <laughs> just following me. He just sits in his little bed when I'm in here, eventually. Every once in a while he doesn't do that, but yeah, he's just, okay, okay. Well, he's got his back turned to us. I guess that's a good sign, bad sign, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you tomorrow for a Friday vlog. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing really well. Let me know in the comments down below how you're doing. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Yo, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.